Okay, I've been a real lazy bastard lately. I haven't been doing much, so I thought it was time to get out and do a home improvement. Now, as you can see over here, where I keep my garbage can in the backyard, um, all the grass died underneath it. It's all dirt. It's all eroded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little pad. Right there. A little paper pad. We'll do that today. All right, I'm not going to get overly scientific about the whole thing. It's going to be... 36 by 36 and right now I'm just going to cut out the perimeter. Well, I'll tell you one thing, digging in the dirt in Florida is a hell of a lot easier than digging in the dirt in Pennsylvania. As you can see I'm cutting out the perimeter here. And I'm going to go down about six inches. All right, so there you see the perimeter is cut out. It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes. And now we're going to move on to the next step. All right, now what I'm going to use here is this, uh, it's called Sunnyland Sunscapes Premium Landscape Rock Paver Base. You can see it there. But uh, I picked this up for about a buck sixty a bag at Lowe's, and we'll lay this down now. Tap everything down here. All right, the gravel base is down. I'm gonna put some sand on top of it. All right, this is the sand I'm using from Lowe's. Sunscapes, sunscapes, paper sand. All right, now I'm laying the pavers down. Just gonna pound, pound them in with a rubber mallet. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just putting this edging in place. This is, this is gonna hold everything in it tight. And so I got the pavers laid out. I'm just going to finish it off with some sand across the top, sweep it in. So that's basically it. Might be a little excessive just for a garbage can. But that'll do the job. As I said, it might be a little excessive for a garbage can, but uh, it looks better and I won't have that erosion there. And it cost about 60 bucks to do that job and maybe uh, two, three hours.